when Judge Katanji Brown Jackson entered the Senate chamber this week to face questions on her readiness to join the Supreme Court, she did so as the first black woman in the nation's history to be nominated to that position. For many black law students and professionals, including a group of 150 who traveled from across the country to watch the historic hearing, Jackson's rise to likely associate justice gives a message of profound hope for what they too might one day be able to accomplish. I knew I had to be there. This is history. This is a moment. Also, she's a Harvard Law alumnus, so I feel sort of a special connection," said Tamaya Dudley, a third-year law student at Jackson's alma mater, Harvard Law School. Dudley was one of 100 law students selected nationwide to attend a series of events and watch parties for Jackson's nomination, hosted by the progressive organization, Demanded Justice. The group also included 50 public defenders, a nod to Jackson's own background in that field. I see a lot of myself in her. I see a lot of my friends in her, and I wanted to be there to support, Dudley said, calling Jackson overly qualified to sit on the Supreme Court. The cohort of legal professionals cheered on Jackson as she faced questions from Republicans about her past cases, particularly those relating to Chill. Republicans had vowed to oppose President Joe Biden's nominees to the court, and when news of Justice Stephen Breyer's imminent retirement broke, the GOP quickly mobilized to attack potential nominees who might replace the longtime liberal justice on the bench. When Jackson emerged as Biden's choice, Republicans sought to paint the judge, who also served at one time as a public defender, as being soft on crime. Particularly, some sentencing decisions in child pornography cases drew GOP fire. But Jackson's measured responses throughout the three days of questioning solidified the support of many onlookers, who reveled in what it would mean to have a black woman sit on the bench for the first time in the court's 233-year history. The fact of the matter is that I'm the father of three black. And to be able to tell them that finally, someone who is black, female nonetheless, is finally on the precipice of a mountain that has never been climbed before by any other black woman, is huge," said Adria Stagg, a third-year law student at Southern University Law Center in Baton Rouge. I can.